Hey guys, and welcome back to a new episode of Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves for the PlayStation 3. In this episode, we do the operation for the second area in the game and everything, which which is awesome! Second, we are your own second operation in the game. But before that, we're going to buy the paraglider. Yes, we are going to buy the paraglider, finally. I just saw that when I was checking right before this recording session. Uh, ooh, get the repair pack's also awesome, too. Let's just buy those two things, right? As we basically buy everything right off the bat. Uh, what actually, oh, the operation is a slight keeper. Moon crash, by the way. Oh, <laughs> we also got two trophies. Nice. But I love the paraglider. It's fucking amazing! Best item in the game! Hover pack's also pretty great, too. I do also love the hover pack, actually. With, with Bentley, but, like, the paraglider is the best, obviously. It's it's great and everything, but, yeah. Let's actually, let's actually start the operation, because, you know, if I start, if I keep just start doing it... Actually, I want to get this card first. Never mind, I'm not going to. I'm just going to start the operation. <laughs> I got to solve it, never mind. But anyways, I need to stop talking, though. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I know. Glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. Get too close, and they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it, and then jump off early <laughs> to the senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing, and it's sure to fall apart. Nice. Oh! Oh, I thought, I got, I thought that guy over there saw me. Oh, we can't get, we definitely can't get over there. Man, I wish, we, I wish, I wish the guy had to pay right now, you know, but... I can get this guard over here. I can get this guard over here. But I can't. God, imagine if the goo had had the. I love how I can like shoot. Ooh. I kind of wish the goo had the paraglider because that'd be amazing. The goo would be just OP then. <laughs> like, God. Like, just imagine riding on all guards and all. God, imagine paragliding with riding the guards down. That'd be pretty amazing. Where is it at? It's right there. Okay. We had to. Uh, also, we had to stand back. I think we had to go around this way to get to it though. Yeah, we do. Ah, I missed it! See? What's this? It's scared of us, but boom! Yeah, see, that's the, that thing that does suck is that you have to plan it out good ahead of time. I believe we can take this guy out real quick. Or with it, maybe. Let's try, let's try it again. Let's try it in time. Oh, boy. Boom! There's one hit. There's also a flash guard over it. There's also a flashlight guard over here. Oh, also, also, by the way, um, I actually just watched Black Widow for the first time the other day. And theaters and stuff like that. My first uh, theater, theater experience, actually. <laughs> so, that's actually really cool and all that that, 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 that happened. And, of course, it was an amazing movie. Black Widow was pretty amazing. I'm definitely ready for the Tempering when it releases, like, pretty soon. In September, I believe, though. So it's still a little ways. Everyone, keep an eye out for the mask. It's sure to take the bait. We got a Carmelita, fellas. Looks like Carmelita finally managed to catch up. Right. We can't stop the operation now. We'll just have to give her a wide berth. Roger, a flying wide berth. Quit horsing around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. What's gonna happen? Go in the way! Here I come, master! Did you get no. Nope. Is the mask gone? Sly, can you see? Can't tell from here. I'll move in. Thought I'd find you here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you! 
<laughs> yeah, she's a giant now. Or she's big now. <laughs> wow. Bentley, could use a little help. How about putting a few of your sleep darts in Karma Larja here? We'll Alright. This two giant come here. Well, semi giant right now. You really can shoot us. You still have bad aim, you know. You still have bad aim. Ah! Ah, I'm, no, I'm not shooting. Sure. Okay, come on, I got back here. Just move around like this. <laughs> it's pretty. Ah, oh, God. Controls are stupid. Oh. Ah, come on. Where are ya? God, I hate how it's, uh, like, the reversed, uh, reversed controls and stuff. Like, like, yeah, to uh, get used to it. Oh, God, what? Is there a way to, like, reverse the controls? I wonder if there is. Because I'm also doing pretty bad aiming right now, too, myself. <laughs> yeah, why do they feel, why do the controls feel opposite of what it should be? That's the, that's the weird thing. Yeah, God, it's so, it's so, so weird. So, yeah, I'm just missing really badly. Oh, my God. There you go. There you go. I mean, we're doing good. We only need to hit it one more time, so... <laughs> Connor's just getting stuck because she's so big. That's what she said. Finally, the darts are starting to kick in, or not? The chemicals in my Corey, slide face. Interacting with the mask to make her even bigger. Whoa, you're not kidding, Bentley. She's getting gigantic. Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back down with time. That's a giant waifu! Giant waifu! Hi, <laughs> Taylor. Man, this is not, this is not Sly Cooper Co-Star. <laughs> oh god. I can't imagine like Gator playing this game and him seeing his reaction to this. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. This is definitely uh, someone's uh, dream right here. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, yep, circle. Oh boy. It's going to You would think this would kill her. Or hurt her, because it's freaking Dominite. I guess not. It damages her, but it doesn't do anything. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look, like, she's literally the speaker of my truck. No! That truck's giant. Man, we just been going through a domino hour. <laughs> All this mission is basically we just basically destroy Kalmita. Or like, just, you know, throw stuff at Kalmita and stuff like that. God, imagine, imagine like... God, imagine later on. Well, uh, what? Is that another fact that she's just holding on to? I just realized that. <laughs> That's freaking crazy. Guys, she can just probably jump on those giant scorpions though that we killed in, in the pre in the previous episodes and so. But yeah, this, this is actually pretty easy. We just keep just throwing the diamond eye at, at diamond eye at her. Or the TT of diamond eye. That she just keeps throwing up. We just throw it back with the with the grab with this. I guess that is the giant truck right here. This is even a bigger truck. Just one more hit! One more hit and got her. Oh no. Yeah, we got her. So now she's even bigger. <laughs> she's too huge. We can't outrun her in the truck. How are you doing? This is bad. We need a new strategy and fast. Force just isn't working. Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of dark earth and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not. <laughs> okay, not uh, it's sorry. Not taking off that mask. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get closer. <laughs> Can't get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. It's not a crazy idea. Oh yeah, it's crazy. You got a better idea? Yeah, but we <laughs> need a giant fighting robot. Sorry. Yeah, but you're fucking claw. <laughs> My God, it's so dirty. What do you think about it? It's so rude. Watch out! 
Oh yeah, and they don't really care at all that she's really giant and basically attacking us. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, swatting away! I can't wait for this actual mission in the game now! <laughs> like, seriously, what? <laughs> guys, this is so weird. BAM! God, this is so weird. Like, we're basically <laughs> climbing up there. Oh god. Oh my. This is so weird. Look at us. Look at us. This. Can we? Oh my god. It's so weird. There's the mask. The giant mask. <laughs> Destroys them too! Ha <laughs> ha! the other gods up too with it. <laughs> nice. My cutscene time. In a trophy. Carmelita just lay there, unconscious, helpless on the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Her camera proved to be a real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. Didn't want her to go home empty-handed. Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. It was beautiful, empty of the miners that had been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmelita began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member. And the team would never be the same. Man, we just got a new member! The guru is our new member now! Sweet! We're not done though. We need to collect more. At least, I mean, now we have just four of us. So there's, there's uh, Sly, Murray, Bentley and now the guru. Anyway, let's start fighter fast. No, fighter fast is always an uh, interesting level and all of that. Uh, I think rumble. Like, so rumble down. Over, I think. I mean, some of those missions rumble down over pretty fun though. But it's just the. I think overall area. I'm not in moderation. Eh, it's not like great either. But fighter fast is pretty fun. Even operation fighter fast is pretty great too. But anyway, anyway, yeah, we're gonna start it. We're not just gonna do operation because it's only been like. 13 minutes or so, 12, 13 minutes, so, anyway, let's start the new, let's start this episode, shall we? <laughs> I'll be quiet again, I know there hasn't been much talk in this episode, but anyway, here we go. Bentley was obsessed. Every night, he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Baron, a big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible.
We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. Sly Cooper and the gang in Flight of Fancy. This is definitely a funny area. Next, the next few are probably one of my favorites. The first one's great, but the second, that fits me because the first one was great. The second one, it was eh, but this one, oh yeah, that looks beautiful. This one, could, 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 I don't know how to put that, somewhere in Holland at 9.23 p.m. What time is it actually though? 10.19 p.m. Not much later than it was actually when I'm recording this. 10.19 versus 9.23 in game, so not bad. <laughs> I know it doesn't go by actual time in this game or not. Just, just, it's always so, that time when you play that game. It's so weird. I don't know why. <laughs> Man, this, I can't believe we have a paraglider now. This is where I need a paraglider for, definitely. This, this area. I wish we had that before. I wish they had it where you just get very big in the game and so I can use it. But now we got the paraglider. The paraglider is so great. Man, you know if they had the paraglider in slide one. That would be pretty amazing. I just love it. I just love it. Uh... But anyway, we can also go to ThiefNet. God, we can buy so much stuff in ThiefNet. Like, it's crazy how much stuff we can buy. Rocket boots, combat dolls, the rollers, the jump attack, push attack, juggernaut throw, berserker charge, and this insanity strike. It's pretty amazing. We're looking for a slide right now, though. Also, this one is, also, this one we actually, uh, in this area, we actually uh, see Dimitri again. And anything, so yeah. We don't recruit him until, like, I think the last, Second to last area. I mean, the last area before the epilogue area, which is basically what the first prologue was. <laughs> if we're gonna succeed in this year's Aces competition, we all need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret, and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane, and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Oh yeah, right, right, right. We're in another costume. I believe this costume does not work on guards. But but like in the in the work in the out in the outside and all that. I mean, it works in here, of course, because I think these are the flight 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 pilots and stuff like that. These are not actually the guards, but oh, there's Dimitri right there. Before we talk to him, uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. This episode is gonna be a mix of a uh, mix of the last the last second area and this area, this area. So actually, I know there hasn't really been a lot of talking, but you know, because there's been a lot of uh, cutscenes and a lot of dialogue in this episode. Which I mean, it's one of those episodes, so. You know, this is Dimitri. Dimitri? Funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights. I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a two <laughs> crack a box like you? Question mark in bold. Wow. Looks like I need to intimidate him a little. Alright. Threaten him? Threaten now. Use a logical argument or threaten to expose? Ooh. Could expose him. Let's expose him.
Maybe logical armament. I don't think violence will do anything. We both know you're gonna tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk. So spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on an electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is big. She's paranoid. Looks like you need to calm down. Calm him down. All right. All right, that's a good effort. Swear to keep it all secret or promise to protect him. Thing is, Dimitri, I don't think protecting him would do anything. Because, I mean, he's a lizard after all. I could keep it a secret, but, like... I think we can. I think the feel, make him feel good is the answer to it. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. I knew it. <laughs> I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk a flight line up if you agree to hold the meat. Which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school <laughs> blood pack favor, like movies, big time. Okay, okay, let's. What, what do we owe him? Agree to the favor, views are off him, a bribe? I'm gonna disagree with it. I think it's agreement okay. with him, of course. Hook me up with the flight roster, and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck to find flight roster. Look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. <gasps> Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese. Big Cheese. <laughs> Interesting name. Big Cheese. I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. Now, we all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hike. <laughs> Like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes! Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes! <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine! Yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more! You know the rules, no one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset! If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exceptions! This will be a fair competition! Same as last year and the year before! I've got the scars to prove it! I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, soar like eagles, eh? <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, well, so I thought, so I thought that was the actual part we do in this episode, or this job, I mean, or mission, but yeah, basically we let us go outside now and everything, yeah, sorry, sorry, that's, that's all, that was, I, no wonder why I thought it was a little long, because that seemed like a really short mission there, but uh, I thought, but I guess, nope, we still go outside, sweet. So then I guess it'll be the little episode will be a little longer than we need to, I like how no one saw us slip into that, <laughs> or change into that, but you know. At least we can talk some more now. <laughs> right? Right? Or else? Yep, we, this is home, guys! Ooh, oh my god, this, this area looks beautiful! There's gold that we can take out! BAM! Sweet. Nice. Also, we got. We also got. A, oh, we don't have both outfits. We only got the Italian outfit. Oh, right, never mind. <laughs> I thought we got the other outfit. I guess not. 
Oh, but let it watch out for these lasers, though. Let's see. This, is this guy have gold? I need, I want to get someone that has gold. Is, does any of these guys have gold? I don't see any of these guys have gold here. There's a rapid that we can take down, though. Also, also, there is a wolf. There's a wolf in this area. Like, you know how, you know how there's a like, Canadian gate? Oh, there's, there's the wolf over there I was talking about. You know how they have the Canadian, the Canadian, or the, was it the bears in the last game? Basically, instead of the bear, it's a wolf here. <laughs> Basically, the, the, the wolf is equivalent to a bear in this game. And they do attack guards like the normal, like, like the normal part. Oh boy, I jump down, jump down and jump on. I'm just gonna run for it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god, 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 god. There's, I guess, pigs, mooses, I think, or, or other ones, and rabbits, and just a bunch of stuff. Okay, we need to get up there. Sorry, I fell in the water there. <laughs> but that's why I said, whoa! <laughs> Sorry, I thought I grabbed onto it, but I guess not. I don't feel like brain's over here. <laughs> I do find it funny how the Grand Baron's already here. Like, he. Jesus Christ, I'm doing really bad on our, on our health right, right now. <laughs> Bam! Be really sneaky. Yeah, this can't be a little tricky to sneak up a lot. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't wanna. We gotta be really careful here. I wonder if the red brain can see us if we between here. I'm not sure. That that rap has gold. I think. I believe that rap had a gold. I I couldn't tell. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, look how quick it got. We're better got up here before us. Sly! Sly, are you out there? Nope, sorry. Just us Black Bear and Goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. But, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on. I got Ooh, a catapult. That works. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you, See you back at the safe, safe house. house. I mean, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Wait, is that the hover thing? Or was it? Or was this one? Ah, oh, I think that's the one we already unlocked. All right, that's what it is. Yeah, basically, I think that's the normal way. And then, boom, boom. I love how we have the hub. We need, I think we need it for this area anyway. anyway. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I love that. I mean, we, it's funny. I love the hub. It does definitely is really helpful, I think, for a mission later on, though. So, you know. Basically, trying blueprints. I think this is another blueprint where we have to look for it, for it, for the actual blueprint. Ooh, man, this is not be cool. Shoot, which one it? I forgot which one it is. I think it might be. It might be the one on the left. I'm not exactly sure. I'm trying to think. Get all these coins though. I guess it's this one, the other one didn't have it. <laughs> yeah, so the band was talking, so I was kind of being quiet. Hey, here's a picture of the band right there. Alright. Alright, this looks familiar. This looks like from the jungle area from the last game. Oh, there's a, it's right here already. Ha! <laughs> two, two, three. So you can see how easy these are to find. But yeah, that looks like the jungle one from uh, the jungle from the last area. <laughs> or last, the, from last game. The Rajan's jungle. Not that, but the temple. 
Nice. And now for the slide now for the slideshow, so be quiet for a minute. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know. I know there's a lot of there's a lot of dialogue and a lot of cutscenes and all that. But anyway, this is the end of this episode of Slot. Hey, I can see a movie mission right there, just right there in the, in the, in the background. But anyway, anyway, I've been Green Colors Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we try to cheat away through the you know to get to so you know how you know backstep the teams and all that. <laughs> So that was a really good idea and everything, but basically, we're basically cheating in the next episode. So, anyway, I've been Green Covers Gaming, and I'll see you guys then. Wah! I'm out. Bye-bye.